United Way of East Central Iowa works together with 37 partner agencies creating positive and lasting change in our community. There are so many stories of changed lives and new beginnings and here's Jeffrey to tell you the story of his journey. Good evening. My name is Jeffrey Chambers. I'm a junior at Cedar Rapids Washington High School. With education being high on my priority list, I continue to strive for greater academic success. I currently hold well over a 4.0 GPA. I have participated in activities such as the All City Drum Corps and different sports teams through school. Being the second oldest in the family of four, I'm looked upon as a role model and want to ensure I'm setting a positive example for my younger siblings. In my short 16 years of life, I've had many obstacles to overcome with my home life being the most traumatic. I have been raised in an abusive home. The abuse came from my father when he chose to drink alcohol, which he did often. He was aggressive with my mother from day one, then eventually started targeting me and my siblings. I felt I was living a life of constant fear. There was one vivid image instilled in the back of my memory. I sat and watched my father hold a knife to my mother's neck. I stood and watched and feel the uncertainty of my father's next actions. This is nothing a nine-year-old should ever have to live through, but I continue to witness my mother endure many other life-threatening situations as the years went by. There was one safe place I could go to escape the violence at home. It was my Boys and Girls Club. With the devastating flood of 2008, my city, my home, and my home away from home, the Boys and Girls Club was destroyed. On the day of the flood warning, I was at the club, playing with friends and just having a great time. Then someone came in and told us that there was water coming and that we needed to move as much of our equipment as possible. We made one long assembly line, me and many other club members, and we moved as much of our equipment as possible and hoped that it would be safe from the floodwaters. When we returned, we seen that all of our hard work had been wasted. I was devastated. The place that was developing me into a young man the place where I met all of my friends. The place that helped me forget about my life problems and just be a kid was now gone. My future was not very unclear, but when the flood subsided, I was able to pick my head back up and, and re, uh, reunite with my extended family once again and experience one of the happiest days of my life. I would now be made a part of the Junior Staff Career and Development Program. This program has allowed me the opportunity to give back what was once an open heart given to me as a member of the Boys and Girls Club. At the end of 2008, my family would find a new home, but abuse was still present. I came to the realization that my father wasn't going to change. I told my mother if she wasn't going to remove us from the situation, that I was going to remove myself. At the age of 15, I ended up leaving home. However, I still fear for the safety of my mother and my siblings. I made the decision to go to the staff of Boys and Girls Club. They helped me through the difficult decision of turning my father in. After talking with the police in the parking lot of the Boys and Girls Club, I got a sense of relief because I now knew my family would be okay. Through all of my obstacles, I am back on track and I see my future once again. My goal is to make it to college and obtain a master's degree in teaching. Working at the Boys and Girls Club has shown me that I want to be a part of the process of helping a child mature into the unique individual that they are. Seeing a child learn and grow is one of the most precious parts of life, and I'll be proud to say I contributed to this process. I will be an example for my family, for my community, and for my Boys and Girls Club. With hard work, determination, and perseverance, all things are possible. Also, as a young man relying on faith a lot, Philippians 4.13 means a great deal to me. It says that I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Seeing the journey that I've made, I know that the Boys and Girls Club was one of the reasons I was able to come this far. I believe in the power of the Boys and Girls Club, and I know that it's truly the positive place for kids, because I am the proof. Thanks. United Way dollars serve over 100,000 people we care about, creating new stories every day. Please consider a gift to United Way today.